So here we are discussing this again. I know I have mentioned it before in a previous video some time ago, but some have been requesting a tutorial just to show quickly how to build the frame for the conduit. So I'm going to show you, and I'm going to try to make this quick, so just so you can see what it looks like. You know, I know lots of tutorials out there are like five or ten minutes long, and they're really annoying. We'll just go. Well, I don't find it annoying, but the timed constraint can sometimes be annoying. So we're just going to do this quick. So all you need is the conduit and then a prismarine block of any kind. Doesn't matter which one or how many views of each kind. We're just going to grab one just for the heck of it. And let's go ahead and make this. Now it needs to be underwater, which means that even if you do it above land, as long as it's in water, it'll work. Okay, we're just going to do it right here. Now I'm going to build it up here just so we can see it in light better. It doesn't matter how high or high low. It only affects, you know, on the two axes going, you know, uh, X and Z. On the Y axis, it doesn't matter. So we have this right here, and we're going to go ahead and put the conduit on it. Now we're going to come down here and build one. Now I'll build out two in this direction, and two in this direction, and two in this direction, and two in this direction. And now each side is going to be five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You get the picture, just fill in the rest. After you do this a couple of times, you'll have it memorized and you'll never forget it. But if you haven't done it for once, if it's the first time, sometimes it actually seems a little confusing at first. But just build it this way and it's really easy. And just fill it in until it's built along all sides and just remember five blocks long on each side. And you're actually done except for one thing, just removing this block. That's a cool sound when it activates. But now it's working. And see, that is the conduit frame. Isn't that cool? The standard conduit frame. That's really all you need. And then from there, you know, you can add to it and, you know, build like a cool structure if you really wanted to. That's that's up to you. And the only thing to remember is not to let a block get placed next to that conduit. If you do, it'll stop working. But if it does stop working, just remove that block and it'll start working again. No big deal. Pretty cool, huh? That is the conduit frame. Now, what's really cool, too, is that is the max range... And so if you go and hit E, you can see the conduit power and it keeps recharging. And if you go out a ways, you'll see it suddenly stop recharging. Not there yet. Uh, not there yet. Okay, so it stopped recharging. So somewhere around here, if you have another conduit, you can go and build another one. And then you can make it like huge ocean where you can breathe and see everywhere. Now the conduit does defend you, but it only defends you within like a couple of blocks radius. So uh, as far as that goes, you know, it's not really worth it to build just for defense. You build it so that you can see underwater and breathe underwater. Anyways, that is the conduit frame. Now you know how to build it. If you have questions about it, ask it in the comments below. But I hope it's exactly what you wanted. So enjoy.